Welcome to this week's review, Trinidad uh, Short Robusto Tea. It's a Petite Robusto, it's limited edition, 2010. I hate the size. Um, I hate the size, but I love the construction. It's beautifully made, I think. Yeah, I, I had to pick three five to get you one. Oh, right? thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, that, that's fine. Um, <laughs> Very open drawer. I've, I've gone ahead and cut it. Looks good. Um, Draw's okay. Wrapper's nice. Mm, not not a size. Do you have yeah, it, it, it's a size I don't grab. It's so see, sort of oh, why? Why? Yeah. If you're going to make it that fat, make it make give it another give it two inches. Why? Yeah. Do That's you know how much these cost? Yeah. yeah, I do. It's your daily wage, Smith. I know. I know. <laughs> I cannot believe the price point on these. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It, yeah. it is. It's. So we're going to be selling heaps after this review, aren't we? <laughs> well, no, no, it could be a blisteringly good review. Yeah, it could, it could be, be yeah. something that would say, but, oh... Okay. But when you walk into the humidor, and, and I've had clients walk in and go, oh, what's this, Smith? And I tell them the price, they immediately put the cigar down and go elsewhere. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's brutal for that but cigar. Is, yeah, but when you consider you can get a... A Robusto tea, which is, which is yeah. a full size cigar. Yeah, a great cigar mm -hmm. for less than that. So, so yeah, for less than what these cost. Well, so we go to a little brother, right. which looks like he needs to really get on the powders for and mm. did some weights for, mm. for, for seven or eight months. But I go to pick it up and have, it, have one of these, and I look at it and I say, What the uh, hell for? Yeah. I throw it back in the <laughs> box. I say, Yeah, I just do not like this size of cigar. Box of ten in that price is just madness. Well, I know that I know they couldn't put them in a box of twenty-five with that price because no one would buy it's them. A box of freaking ten. Put we'll be back at the end of the first <laughs> section. <laughs> section to see how Beautiful. it goes. <laughs> we only do two thirds of this because you know really you can't do three. Yeah, no, no, no. You do the opening. It's first we'll half, do the second first, half. Yeah, first opening, first half, second half. Yeah. Seriously, who yeah. in marketing and Havana designed yeah. this? Grow up. Um, it's very smooth. Um, yes. Peanut. Peanut. Uh, yeah, peanut. Yeah, it's got peanut. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, oh, I'll yeah, give you that. I love peanut. Yeah, yep. More like a, a, a greeny sort of a peanut kind of a... I want to say greeny, like um, more like uncooked peanuts. Yeah, That'd be raw that. peanuts. That'd be raw peanuts. Well, no, I want to say uncooked. Um, not the dry, not the, not the roasted, salted no, kind of a peanut. It's a raw peanut. It's a raw peanut, yeah. I've known a few raw peanuts. Um, it's fairly uh, mild opening, actually. Um, <laughs> Splay mini. Just, just, just below medium. I cut your finger. Yeah, thanks for breaking that glass last with you. It's great. Notice now Warren's on the crappy cheap glass and... Oh, seriously. It's, it's actually been a surprising opening. Hey, is it enjoyable? Yes. It's enjoyable. Medium body, full body. Just under medium. I would, I would say under medium. Look, yes, it's been enjoyable. I haven't found any problems with it. Have I stopped mid-sentence in the conversation about humidors before and gone, bloody hell, this is a great cigar? No. What have you found, mate? You, you, you're loving this. No, 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 I'm not loving it. It's mm. enjoyable mm. at this point in time. We're going to just lit the cigar. Yeah. So, so we're almost finished. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with this sort of cigar. The draw is perfect to mine. It's got, a, it's got a good draw, and I think I said on. Smitty? Uh, mine's a bit loose. Mine's mine's a pretty open draw, and not yeah. not my my sort of style. But you know, there's no problems with it. Yeah, I think you know on on the. It's uh, got me thinking. In a positive or a negative? So far, it's positive. Yeah, but it's not saying on negative. It's mm. positive at this point in time. For me, uh, I mentioned uh, on the draw before lighting, it had a kind of a, a nice sort of a cold tea kind of a flavor yeah, yeah. which is yeah. transferred to which the smoke hasn't it? it has and that kind of flavor i think is still there it's got some class to it there's an elegance to it yeah i just think it's it's a very it's a very subtle elegance it's trinidad though oh, yeah. isn't it oh yeah it's trinidad yeah there's trinidad, no trinidad, there's no missing yeah. your trinidad mark. Yeah, it's trinidad yeah. so they've, they've nailed the mark which is always my first when they bring out a new release mm. have they nailed the mark they have nailed the mark Back at the end of the first third, which could be in about two minutes. Hmm. What was the first third of this Trinidad uh, Petit Robusto? Ellie. Flavour base, not changing too much there. Which is what? Cold tea. Um, you earlier mentioned um, peanut. I, I do recognise a little bit of that flavour yeah. in there. Medium body, full body, uh, less oh, than medium. Oh, I think I think a medium. Oh look, uh, I'm I'm slightly below medium. I've got um, a touch of that. Um, 
a burnt caramel blends in quite nicely with the burnt caramel. Yeah, yeah, yeah just I'd like I'd go with that. Yeah, yeah, with the you know blends in with that peanut, you know peanut brittle sort of uh, feeling. It's settling in quite nicely. Um, yeah, you know, but like I said, it's too short. Medium body, nice, lush peanut. You'll yeah. be into the second well, third let's in no time. Let's talk about it now. Let's talk about it now. Yeah, it's is, is it worth the money? Um, personally, for me, no. At the moment, you'd say no. Look, at the end, maybe it will be. Um, it's, you know, I, I just said there before, if you were to walk into this. What is it, 14 US, 40 bucks Australian? Yeah, if like you that, walk yeah? into the store here, you can buy H. Upman, Sir Winston, cheaper. Nah, that's just ridiculous. Yeah. That's so, just ridiculous. So either we've got our pricing wrong, or... No, they've really, they've really laden this up in yeah. relation to pricing. Yeah. For me, it's more of a, what I tend to term a, a, a conversational cigar, something that you can smoke that doesn't take a lot of your attention. Um, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's, it's really enjoyable, enjoying it. but it's not a cigar that you, you're smoking and go, oh, God, you get that flavour? Yeah. I think the pricing is completely mm. out mm. Mm. where they need to be on this. I think it needs to be a good 25% cheaper. Mm. Sorry, the blenders of uh, Tabacuba, congratulations. You've done a great job in blending the cigar. I think the pricing's out hmm. on, um, to a large extent. Do you know the production numbers on this? Oh, it's a limited edition, Smitty. Yeah, which, which means, means as many as they can make. Exactly right. <laughs> right. As many as they feel like making. You know, you'll be around in 2013. <laughs> they'll still, they'll be, still be there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, well, at that price point, I suspect they're going to be around for decades, actually. <laughs> yeah. I, Market. See, one, one of the key problems we have is that, that we normally do a second third, but because we discussed this for 15 minutes, we'll be back to the last third <laughs> in a few seconds. We'll see you shortly. Not too much has changed, um, although I am have had time. probably the, uh, the flavour I'm getting the most, at the moment I'm getting a kind of a menthol -y sort of a... Menthol? Well, it's a feeling in the mouth more than anything, yeah. I suppose, yeah. Your wife would appreciate that when you get home? No, look, uh, it, it's a pleasant enough cigar. Right at 87. 87. Look, Smitty. I'm not going to be nice to it. Oh, look, it's been nice, it hasn't been anything bad with it. It is a young cigar, admittedly, but it's very smooth and refined so far. Those, it's medium at best. The, there's that peanut, peanut brittle characteristic to it. Mm. Oh, I'm going to be, you know, there's nothing wrong with it, but yeah. Forget the price, what'd you rate it? 83. No way in the world you'd rate that 83. Mate, that... Forget the forget the price point. Forget the price point. Let's say it's a dollar cigar. What would you rate it? As a dollar cigar, I'd give it an 86. I love that peanut brittle aspect to it. I thought it was a beautiful signature to the cigar. I can get that elsewhere. If it was a dollar cigar, what would you rate it? Well, let's say it's a ten dollar cigar. <laughs> I would, I would still rate that an 87, 88, uh, which is not too far off what you, where you rated your cigar. Uh, you're working off a formula which doesn't make sense to anybody, and I have no doubt that in two, this is a two, 2010 LE. I have no doubt that in 2012, 13, you'll still have warehouse is full of this. I, I reckon it's like the Monty C where you can still go and get a box of that quite happily. Exactly right, this is exactly the same. It's a solidly good cigar, but it is, it doesn't provide the point of difference mm. that's required in LA. If I had to take price into consideration, seriously it's an 83, 83, 84. Do I recommend them? No. Take him as a single? Surely, please do, because I know I've got eight left, and I know I'll never sell another box again. <laughs> but uh, take him as a single, so you can always say, "I hey, actually tried one." But seriously, no, that's a disgrace. I mean, you rate it above the opens. I yeah. think it came out of the same marketing class yeah. as the Yeah, I was going to say oh, that's where I thought you were going <coughs> to say when you were on that. This, this comes as the same they, marketing class. Gone with the marketing ploy the first and tried yeah, to fit a cigar. cigar later. There's no reason for this cigar. No. You had the Trinidad Tea yep. Robusto, yep. Which, which is a, a fantastic great cigar. cigar. Yep. Great yep. success. Yep. Very good. Trinidad Tea. And an Ellie this. Who? What was this, an afterthought? Yeah. yeah. For oh. goodness sake.